A dear friend of mine reached out today about Microsoft Defender for Endpoint on servers. It's a confusing concept because, as always, we've got a licensing side of things and a technical side of things. On Windows Client, we can buy Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Plan 1 or Plan 2. It's bundled with Enterprise E3 or E5 and it's licensed per user like other Microsoft things. That's not true of Defender for Server, or Defender for Endpoint Server, depending on where you're buying your license. With servers, we still get Plan 1 and Plan 2, but they're not the same as the client plans. For example, Plan 1 in Windows 11 world is very entry level, and it's missing some useful security features that you get in Plan 2. In fact, Defender for Servers Plan 1 is closer in features to Defender for Endpoint Plan 2. Confused yet? Well, it gets better. If you go to your cloud service provider or reseller and ask for Defender for Server, they'll sell you Defender for Endpoint Server. That's around $5 per server. It's plan one. But if you go online and look at a server in Azure, you'll see you can buy plan one or plan two directly from Microsoft on your Azure subscription. Plan one is about $5 and plan two is about $15. It's important to know that these subscription plans are billed hourly. So for a server that is on 24 seven for a month, plan two is around $15. If it's off for 50% of the time, plan two is around $7.50 per month. The point is, it's probably better to get your Defender for Servers license on Azure because then you're paying per hour. But why would you buy plan two at all? It enables some pretty cool features like just-in-time VM access and Azure Update Manager remediation and recommendations, Defender Vulnerability Manager, just you know, to name a few. Like I say, this is all just a tick box to purchase if you're using Azure VMs. If you're using on-prem servers or servers in other clouds, then Azure Arc will allow you to hook them up to Azure so you can use Defender for Server on them too. You might hear or read about Defender for Cloud. Now, don't worry, it's not a new name for Defender for Server. Defender for Cloud is the family of cloud security products from Microsoft. It includes Defender for Server, Defender for Storage, Defender for Containers, and so on. It's like Microsoft Defender, Microsoft 365 Defender. It just contains a little bit of bits. So, to summarize, I, I don't know. It's pretty simple once you look at the options available and you match it with your use case. Like if you're using um, AVD and your servers get switched off, then using an hourly charge product is a big win. If you just need the P1 features or if you want to pay per server with your Microsoft 365 bill, go to your CSP. My customers typically use the Azure subscription billing method and they buy a mix of plan one or plan two, depending on the server criticality. Hope that helps. See you next time.